Problem 2-28. Find the value of x. So letter A, we've got our triangle here. We've got a 50 degree angle, a 20 degree angle. That makes 70 degrees, which means that the angle up here that we have is going to be 110 degrees. Just filling it in because we know what it is. And it's not drawn to scale, so I wouldn't worry much about that. But what we're going to look to do here is we're trying to figure out the value of x. We know the angle across from it, and then we also know another angle and the side length of, you know, the side across from it. So what we can do here is we can use our law of sines. And remember, our law of sines is going to state... That if we have sides here, and we'll call this A, B, C. So those are our vertices there, but that would make this little A, this little B, and this little C. So our law of sines would state there that the sine of angle A over the length of A, or the, that ratio, should equal the ratio of the sine of angle B, over the length of side B, or the side opposite it. So let's try it and see here. We're going to say the sine of 110 degrees over X, over the side that's opposite it, should equal the sine of 20 degrees over the side opposite it, which is seven, uh, 17. So the sine of 20 degrees over 17. We have a ratio equals a ratio, which is a proportion, which means that one of the properties we know is that if we multiply this numerator times this denominator, it should equal the product of the other two. So 17 times the sine of 110 degrees should equal x times the sine of 20 degrees. I don't need to do anything with it yet. I could go ahead and work on getting my x by itself because I can divide each side by the sine of 20 degrees. So I'll have 17 times the sine of 110 degrees all divided by the sine of 20 degrees. That should give me the length of x. So when I pull out my calculator here, one thing I definitely want to make sure I look at is I want to press the, but the mode button here and make sure that I'm in degree mode. You don't want to be in radians. If you're in radian mode, you need to arrow down, highlight degree, and press enter. You see mine's already on there. Then second mode to quit out. I'm going to type in this expression here. I'm going to do 17 times the sine of 110 degrees. And then we're going to divide it by the sine of 20 degrees. We hit enter. And we're going to see that our missing side length is going to be about 46.7. We'll go ahead and round it to the nearest hundredths place. So we're going to say x is approximately 46.71 units. And again, we use the law of sines to come up with that. Now, let's go on to letter B. Letter B, we have a 55 degree angle. And its opposite side is x. We have a 36 degree angle with nothing across from it, and then we have an angle with nothing here, but it's 10 on the opposite side. Now we can figure out here 180 minus the sum of 55 plus 36 should give us this missing angle over here. So 55 plus 36 is going to be 91. So 180 minus 91. I have more pride than that. I need to write a little bit neater. 180 
minus 91 should equal 89 degrees, which means this side here is, oh, I'm sorry, the angle here is 89 degrees. So now we can use our law of sines again. We can say the sine of 89 degrees over the length of the side across from it should equal the sine of 55 degrees over x. So let's go ahead here, do our cross multiplication. x times the sine of 89 degrees should equal 10 times the sine of 55 degrees. Now let's go ahead here and just get x isolated by dividing by the sine of 89 degrees on each side. And we're going to get x equals, and I'm going to go ahead here and compute that on the calculator as well. Just get it back out. Let's do 10 times the sine of 55 degrees. And then we're going to divide it by the sine of 89 degrees. And you'll see that we get about 8.19 units is what x would be. So we're going to get about 8.19 units there. And that's rounded. So I guess it's more of an approximation there. All right, so the big thing on this one, make sure you remember the law of sines. This is problem 2-28, finding the value of x. If you have additional questions, make sure you ask your teacher. Otherwise, thanks for watching.